guys, Zane here with another quick one take review, and today I wanted to talk about the new Holy Fawn album, Dimensional Bleed. Dimensional Bleed is the second and latest studio album from American post rock project Holy Fawn. Acting as a follow up to 2018's very well liked Death Spells, Dimensional Bleed definitely had at least a little bit to live up to, but unfortunately it manages to miss the mark in just about every way possible while also not being truly terrible either. Ryan Osterman's vocals ultimately don't add much to the record overall, as a purposeful low mixing on the album leaves them just kind of feeling lost and purposeless. Meanwhile, the compositions themselves aren't even all that interesting, simply because of the fact that they rely on a constant morphing of a wall of noise than they do anything actually remarkable, and if there's one thing post-rock music has relied on a lot over the course of its history, it's walls of noise that just change slightly over the course of an album. I mean, sure, in a way that is the point of the genre, there's no denying that, but at the same time, it needs to be reinvented in some way to actually be genuinely interesting, and Holy Fawn just pull from the basic textbook styles that the genre has been delivering for decades now. In a way, I imagine that Dimensional Bleed is what post-rock and post-metal sounds like to people that don't necessarily hate those subgenres, but also really aren't into them either, just very, very boring and flavorless overall. So overall, Dimensional Bleed definitely had the potential to be an excellent album, but unfortunately it just feels too uninspired to do anything all that remarkable or even half decent. I'm going to give this record 2.5 stars out of 5. My one take on this album is that Dimensional Bleed isn't necessarily the worst follow-up to Death Spells possible, but the Holy Fawn Project could be doing much better right now had they just chosen to do something a bit different from their many different peers and influences. So again, 2.5 stars out of 5, and with that being said, that's the end of this quick review, and I'll see you guys in the next one.